Guten Tag and welcome and welcome back to Der Club. We've played the first few matches of the season uh, following that cup match. Our next game is going to be our first match in the, um, uh, the Champions uh, Cup League. So let's go ahead and see what we've done and what we're going to have, what we're up against, all right? All right, here we got the leaderboards. Uh, you can see that within our European Champions Cup, we are going to have to play uh, Paris Saint-Germain, Chelsea, Sporting, and then us. So uh, a bit of a tough draw for us with, with Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain in there. Sporting looks like we might be able to do okay against. Uh, they seem to be fairly comparable to us. Uh, German Cup, our next round is against BMG. There were 13 Division II and two Division III teams, so of course we got a Division I team that's every bit as good, if not better, than us. Um, so yeah, we are supposed to reach the third round, as you can see. With BMG in the second round, uh, that's not, not particularly likely, so we'll just have to see how that goes. It's not a match we can't win, it's just a match that we probably shouldn't win... 50% of the time. I, w I would give us 30% of the time, maybe, you know. Um, that's kind of about the odds that we should have, you know. We're going to win that one, then three, I think. Uh, in the regular first division, we've played four matches. We're three and one. That puts us in second place based on goal differential. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that's happened. Uh, Wolfsburg, Tommy Gordon got a brace, and we managed to sneak out with that one. I believe we were down, let's see, whoops. Wasn't really what I was looking for, but it gets us there, sure. They scored in the 23rd minute. Uh, we managed to come back in the 32nd and 40th minute to uh, pull ahead in the first half and then just, just hang on for the win in the end. Let's leave the match. Uh, Ingolstadt. Um, Ingolstadt isn't very good so far, as far as I can tell, but they still managed to pull a draw with us. Uh, they scored instantly in the fourth minute. We managed to get an equalizer before half. Uh, Onuka got it, and then we kind of hung on, and we weren't spectacular. You can see uh, Gordon got a 7, but the reporters still wanted to talk shit about him, and, and why didn't he play well? Well, I think he played okay. I mean, nobody here played badly. Um, we were just unable to break through with them and, and get some goals. Uh, that brings us on to Gelsenkirchen, who's a better team. Uh, almost 60,000 people showed up to watch us uh, there. Uh, it was an away match for us. And we managed to win it 3-1. You can see Tommy Gordon got a brace, and Shintanoda got one in the 70th minute. Everybody played pretty well. Shintanoda's played very well for us uh, this, this season. Uh, against Dresden, Dresden got promoted this season. They were expected to be pretty poor, but they were playing well until they ran into us. We had 45,000, almost 46,000 show up to watch us at home. Uh, we did sell 2,000 more season tickets, I think, 27. No, 25,000 instead of 23,000 or something like that. 2,000 more. Uh, Suarez started things off with a goal in the 12th. Kappa got one in the 52nd, and Oliver Achenberg got one in the 82nd, 86th when we brought him in as a sub, along with Patrick Bose. I wasn't really planning on getting uh, called Bosa. Uh, Bosa a whole lot of time this semester, this season. But uh, we ran into registration rules for the Champions Cup, and so our, um, our roster is a little bit different than for this. We actually had to find people off of the youth team to come up with enough uh, German players to, to participate. Uh, we didn't have enough uh, home teams. We needed like four, and we had two, or maybe we had three homegrown players in our starting, and we needed eight uh, national growing te players, and we had like four. So we had to bring up some guys up from the lower lower teams. We had to leave some people out. Vulotic get left out. Uh, I don't remember who else. Uh, Cipolletti, I think, also got, le got left out, uh, just because I didn't have room for him after bringing up the German players. So we did run into that a little bit. Does it show us as having that right now? Uh, yeah, you can see here Vujicic and Cipolletti are uh, unregistered for the cup match. So that's just going to be how it goes. Uh, we had a maximum of 25 players allowed for that. 
and I don't have a large squad. We would have fit in just fine for that. We just didn't have enough enough German players. Uh, let's see. Can we look at homegrown status? You can see right here. Uh, well, we'll flip it. I've only got one, two, three. <laughs> three starting German players on this team. Uh, two Korean, three Japanese. I didn't realize I had four Spanish players. Uh, but we do. So, uh, yeah. We had to come up with some German players for it, so it is what it is. Uh, as you look at this, however, you see our biggest issue, and that is Tommy Gordon is injured. He was an international play for Scotland, and he's out for another two to three weeks. So if we look at our schedule and our calendar, now two to three weeks here, potentially here, that means he's going to miss this German Cup and this German Cup match. Pretty good chance. Uh, we may get him back for the, the, sh the match against Sporting. We hope so, because Sporting's a, a a team we should hopefully be able to beat, but not if we don't have our, our not if we don't have the A team. So we'll see what it is. All right, let's go ahead and look at the match we have for today. Uh, Paris Saint Germain. Uh, I'm a couple days away. Let me hit continue a couple times, and we will start the match. All right, welcome back. I've hit continue a few times. We've got the match today. Uh, player of the week, Noda, is there. He desperately needs a rest. He's horribly jaded after his stint as, uh, in the international stuff. We gave him essentially the training days off before this match. We're going to play him now, and then we're going to give him probably a week off after that. That's the plan. Uh, the other player of note for us recently was uh, Miguel Angel Torres. He said some very nice things about us. He had a big interview apparently just in front of his first Mexican uh, cap. Uh, do we show that here? Under 19 champions. Very strong. Let's look. Maybe history, career stats. Non-competitive league. International. So he had two international matches. He played 6.7. He came in. He, well, he said some very nice things about us. He said some very nice things about the code national, uh, Mexican national coach. Uh, if we look here, we will see that I am one of his favorite personnel. Not a lot of players like me for some reason. Um, I'm willing to kind of move them out because generally we're, we're in and out of teams. We don't spend a lot of time there. And uh, a couple of times we've, we've jumped, we've gotten promoted, or once we got relegated. And all of those things essentially require uh, kind of rejiggering the, uh, the roster and having to trade players and bring in new players. And, and so there's a fair amount of turnover. Uh, this is probably the, you know, this is our fourth season here. And uh, this is the first time we're kind of able to bring some young players up a little bit. So anyway, he likes me. He really likes me. All right. So our lineup is here. They're attacking. We're probably going to come out and play a little bit more counter-attacking instead of control, and hope that that works for us. Uh, we've got Kappa in as our strike, <clears throat> excuse me, to um, replace Tommy Gordon. Um, subs right now, we've got Carlos Pastor as our backup goalie, Shun Sugawara for defensive left, Dave Hoyt, center right, Miguel Angel Torres, right center. We've got Gennaro in for mid, uh, Ollie's in for mid or attacking mid, and Patrick Bosa is in as well. Uh, although, of course, they had to play an under-19 match today. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, throw that out and I guess get rid of him and we'll, we'll play a little bit less than we're going to. I need to make sure, um, that while I'm thinking about it, where did Bosa go? Torres, Gordon... He's not on the team, or he's not. That's what I was about to fix. He's he's on the under-19s. He's not on our squad. So let's move him up to our squad, move to senior squad. And then we'll make him available for the under-19s uh, as we need to. Uh, and hopefully we pay more attention to this in the future. Uh, there we go. We kind of shot ourselves in the foot here. But this is a match I expect to lose, so... If we lose it by three or we lose it by four, I don't, I don't know. Goals probably are going to matter, but are probably going to matter, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we are going to miss Tommy Gordon. Uh, I don't know why they think we're going to miss Cho every time. He's not a starter, but uh, they seem to think he is. 
They've got Dave Hoyt as our key man, which is a little bit interesting. Wasn't he? Let's hold on. Tactics overview. Yeah, Hoyt's not even starting. I didn't think he was. Um, uh, let's tell him we got faith, but uh, I I don't really. I don't expect us to win this match. I just like to not get blown out. That's essentially what we're going to be. You know, actually, we're just going to play defensive. We're going to go straight defensive, and we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, we're on the attack. I like that. Kamada feeds it in. Unable to get anything going, though. It gets booted out to Guades up to Garduno. All the way over to Stelmach. They've got great movement back and forth. They had nobody really in the middle. Everybody was out on the wings. Um, and now we get to see the shot. Apparently that was the end of the highlight. Garduno comes charging up. We have everybody in the middle. Over to Stelmach. Back for to Guardupo, and then we had two kind of break through the center there. We're able to clear it, though. And we survived the first six minutes and 59 seconds. They are still on the attack. Oh, look at that. It looked like more, uh, Andre got a hand on it at some point and it got booted out. We'll see the highlight real quick here. He feeds it in. They got a head on it, another head on it. Uh, Andre pushes it back out, and then it got cleared. They've got a couple injured players already. I didn't... Okay, they were injured players that they're bringing... That are coming off injury that are back. As I say, I didn't think we'd injured anybody yet. And their, their condition didn't look terrible. But we need to keep an eye on that. Carabalios is getting worn down a little bit here. Uh, good half. More of the start. Yep. Everybody's played pretty well. Um, Anuka hasn't played great. Let's go ahead. We'll put in. Um, we'll put in Ollie, and that will be our one sub. Kind of see how things go after that. Uh, Ollie's not quite as um, offensive-minded as Anuka, which you know, being as that we're playing defensive right now, might be a good thing. And, uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say as we just watch the screen here. They do have a yellow. Uh, our last league match, the ref hated us. Oh, Chai Young's got it. He tried to feed it in. No go on there going back up the side. Martel feeds it into Garduno. Back out to Martai. Oh, beautiful cross into Stelmach, and he gets the goal. Very nice counterattack for them. Everybody's charging ahead. Martai feeds it in. Nice little cross backwards a little bit into Stelmach and, and goal. Can you say? Uh, let's see if we get an attack maybe. Although, I mean, I guess technically that one started out with nope. Noda lost it almost instantly. Here they go on the attack again. Feeds it over to Montero. This time they're coming up the right. Guedes, Montero. They're having a little bit harder time coming up that side. But they get it in. Stelmach to Gardudo. Noda. I think it was Noda had a, a foot on it, but not unable to control. Garduno takes it back. And we are down to two zip. Vocator, a little back heel pack. Stelmach kicks it in Garduno. Yep, Noda had it. Um, but he's he just kind of feeds it ahead a little bit for Garduno. Helps... Helps tee it up for him a little bit. Uh, looked like we were in there again. They were able to tackle it and take it away. Who had it? From Kappa. A little bit of difficulty getting it out. They're probably not trying too hard at this point. They just dump it up. Garduno's just apparently faster than everybody else or wanted it more than everybody else. He feeds it all the way back over to Martai. Montero. Terrell walks up with it. Oh my gosh, you see the acceleration? He just burned away from all our guys. Feeds it across to Acosta. And we are down 3 nothing. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion we're not making it out of this stage. 
Beautiful cross to cross. Acosta's there. They've got four people to our one. Uh, didn't do a very good job of defense there. Carabalios is tired. Let's get him out. Last thing we need is for him to be injured on top of that. Um, we'll put in Hoyt. Ah, oh, 13 minutes to go. Let's see if they decide to score again or if they back off a little bit. Kind of hoping for the backing off. It doesn't look like it's happening. Acosta feeds it back up to Martai. He dribbles in past everything, takes the shot. Andre makes a save, pushes up over the goal. They're going to have a corner kick. Bacaturo feeds it in. And Marrera comes out. Able to grab it, feed it back out. Now we get the, the highlight there. Acosta settles it down. Flips it up to Martai. He just goes running past everybody. Takes the shot himself. Marrera is able to, to push it up. All right, Montero has a throw in. Vocatura. Uh, we're able to stop it once, twice. What's Kappa going to do with it? Over to Ollie. Ollie gives it back to Choi. Choi gets hemmed in a little bit. Back to Ollie. Vega feeds it up to Kappa. He can't do anything. Back out to Vega. Nice little pass in there. It'd be nice if we kind of spread him out a little bit. Nope. Choi uh, doesn't go fast enough, and they're able to tackle it away. Restrepo gets it back, and he just hands it back to him. He's just like, here, I was keeping this warm for you. Take it back. Uh, Savio feeds it in. Oh, nice. Go. We had a crossover to Rodriguez. He takes the shot. Marrera was able to get it. Another shot in from the far outside. Marrera hangs on to it into the highlight. Juano got it the first time. Rodriguez in. Yep. What's Restrepo going to do? He really likes Rodriguez. He enjoys giving the ball back to him on a regular basis. In fact, I'm fairly sick of Restrepo doing that, so we're going to sub him out. We have one sub left, and it will be Shun Sugawara. And after this goal, we'll go ahead and get him subbed in. But three people closed down on Martai that time, and he shoots a little bit wide as uh, Marrera comes out after him. I'm not sure that this one really was a... Uh, maybe it was a half chance. As everybody coming in, he just... just makes a ch an attempt at it there. Just outside. All right, Sugawara passes it to Suarez. Well, that's already better than what we were getting. Up to Kappa. Back out to Kamada. Oh, we get one goal. Oh, Kamada. He is always there for us when we need him. Uh, it, kind of an ugly goal, but we'll take it. Kappa is a beautiful little assist out. Kamada gets it. He, he kind of barely gets in front of the tackle. Goalie was expecting the tackle to come through, and he's not in position. Dives over. He's un unable to clean it up. Squeaks in there, but they want to get back to that three-goal lead. Just a couple seconds left. He puts it over the top. That should be it for game. And that is it. Full time. Paris Saint-Germain, 3-1. Uh, at home. Well, for them. Uh, over us. Uh, you know what? They did play well for the most part. We don't, we don't have any horrible low numbers. There's a 6-5 and a 6-6 in here. But, but, you know, there's also some 7s. So a 7-5. You know, uh, we weren't terrible. Seven, and it looked like we got better as the half went on. Uh, so Kamada played much better the second half. Kappa played better the second half. Uh, Andre had a good first half, not so good for his second. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not upset for that. That's not a, not a terrible match. And uh, Saint Germain pa coast past their club. Can't argue that. Uh, Chelsea beat Sporting two zip. So both. Uh, us and Sporting uh, are down by two. I'm not sure if away goals means anything. Uh, doesn't appear to. Just goal differential. Um, so, anyway, at the moment we're in third. Uh, the rules are, uh, let's see, first leg. No seven subs, no player restrictions. Away goals used if scores are level after 90 minutes. Okay. Uh, second. So that's not us. We're, is it? We're group stage now. 
disciplinary qualification. Winners qualify for group stage. Okay, we did that. Oh, we need to go up a level. That was uh, champions playoff, best place. We're group stage, group A. Here we go. Uh, match rules. Two, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Results between teams, goal difference, goal scored, uh, coefficient, prize money per win. That'd be nice. Prize money per draw. Uh, that'd be nice. We didn't get any of that. Uh, top two teams qualify for a first knockout round. One match suspension for every three yellow. Okay, so we do have to be in the top two. I don't see us getting there. Uh, it'd be nice to be third, but I don't see us... You know, unless Chelsea and, pa and Paris Saint-Germain beat each other up, maybe Sporting knocks them off once. Ah, man, I, I, this is a tough, tough nut to crack. So... Anyway, that is where things stand at the moment. I will see you next time. If you liked it, hit like. If you hated it, hit dislike. Don't, uh, you'd think I've said this enough times I'd remember it. Don't be a stranger. Leave comments. Say hi. Let me know what you like or don't like or what you think I can do better. And uh, we will see you next time. Cheers.